we will see how to create a personal portfolio using Bootstrap Studio. For that, click on the new design option. Either you can make a personal portfolio from scratch or else you can edit the existing template. For that, I will select the freelancing template and then click on the create. Now you can see the whole software. In the left side, it contains drag and drop features. And in the bottom, you can see the overview of the template. And now just click on the option called LG and I will minimize the size. So now you can see clearly it is a pre-made template. So we will change according to our personal portfolio. Uh, it already consists of uh, three buttons. So we will edit that. We will remove the brand and we will keep our name. Instead of uh, portfolio, we will keep projects and skills. We will, we will keep the about section as it is and also the contact section. To change the display picture, just click on that. And now just click on the import image and import your display picture. Just click on the OK. Yes, and then select the image and click on OK. You can see the image, but it is a very big size. So to edit this, you can change the width and height of the pixel. For that, just click on this and go to the appearance section. And in that, go to the layout and you can change the settings according to your ideal. 500 pixel so you can see that I will change my name and below I will change the skills according to me okay quickly I have made some changes and instead of portfolio, we will keep project and skills as a heading. Either we can insert the project images or else instead of this, we can keep a text format. For that, I will delete all these images. So to type below the projects and skills section, first you have to drag the paragraph feature. So type paragraph in the search section and then just drag and drop that. So you can see that then just double tap on that. So you can enter your project names and skills. Quickly I will do the modifications. So I will keep whole text in the middle of the paragraph. For that you have to just go to the alignment option and then click on the center. So you can see that. And if you want you can change the font also just clicking on the font. And if you want to add any new font then click on the add font option. If you want to change the size you can directly just click on the font size and enter your ideal size. Yes. If you want to change the color of the text, you can change either entering the RGB values or selecting the color code. So either you can keep like this or else you can attach the project links to the text. For that, first click on the text. So you can see an option uh, link. Just click on that and paste the URL of your project and then click on the OK. Then you can see the whole thing. So I will quickly do the modifications. Color of the text has been changed. And now we will change the about section. Either you can modify this or you can delete this and you can enter a single paragraph. Delete and I will enter a new paragraph drag and drop the paragraph feature 
and quickly I will uh, modify this so now I will change the alignment of the text and I will also change the font size if you want you can also add the transition features or animation features for that just click on the box and now go to the animation option and in that just click on the triggered option and you can keep scroll option anything what you want for sample you can just click on the play option yes you can see the feature so quickly I will do the all modifications in the about section it contains a whole information about ourselves uh, for that we can also include an option download resume so that anyone can download our resume so to attach an image for this button for that go to the option and then click on the URL and click on images first we have to upload an image of our resume for that first go to the design section and scroll down and then right click yes our image got imported and then you have to click on URL and in the image section just click on the resume so that whenever a person click on the download resume option your resume will be downloaded if anyone want to contact you they can enter the details and click on the send option either you can keep this and you can change the modifications or if you want a simple one and the fast one then just delete the whole thing and uh, in the feature section there will be a contact form now just drag and drop the contact form clean so you can see that uh, i will remove the heading part so whenever a person enters the whole details and click on the send option you will get to a mail to activate that feature so click on options and click on the option smart form so yes and click on the choose recipient and add your mail id and if your mail id is not added then you can just click on the manage and you can click on the add recipient so i will select my mail id yes so i will remove this error message you, you should also have to remove from html part for that just click on the html and also from attributes so click on the class names and remove this is invalid that's it and so whenever a person sends any message or fill these details you will get to your mail we will also preview the whole thing don't worry about that and at the last thing you can keep your location and you can connect your social media accounts so quickly i will do all modifications so to attach the links of your social media first click on the icon in the options section you can see that url in that you have to add your social media link so quickly i will do all the modifications so if you want to change the icon of the social media then click on the icon so you can see there are many other if you want to add your linkedin just click on linkedin so click on that so you can see linkedin and your facebook so quickly i will attach these two links so i have done all the modifications this is a simple one to preview this just click on the preview option and then enable this option and then click on open browser option you can see this so whenever you click on web button it will directly automate to that section so now we have completed the whole part and now we have to host the website for that we can use the github pages option which is a free thing so no need to pay anything for domain or uh, web hosting we have to export the website so click on the export option and browse the location file and then click on the export 
yes the design was exported you can once the files are completely downloaded now you have to open your github and click on the repositories and then click on new give a file name and then click on create repository now we have to add those files into this repository for that just click on add file and click on upload files so now my files are completely uploaded and then scroll down and click on commit changes so once the files are uploaded then you have to go to the settings option and scroll down and click on the pages and then change from none to master or main branch then just click on the save button yes you can see that your site is ready to be published at this link you have to wait for at least five minutes so that github will be updated and it will be host to your personal portfolio or website meanwhile you just copy this link after five minutes just paste in a new browser or in a new tab if you find like these don't worry don't panic or don't worry about this at the end just add your file name that is index dot html because your file name is index so then just click on enter yes you got your website so don't worry about that whenever you get an error just make sure that at the ending you have index.html like not only the index.html whatever your file name as you can see here yes your file name is index.html so we have entered index.html at the end of the link yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and learn and start creating your own personal portfolio and also I will attach links in description.